All right, now, Sam here with Gavin Rosdale of the Bad Bush. Been around. First of all, okay, so I go to do some research on Bush. Never type the word Bush into the Google search engine. You cannot not? believe some of the images. I'm single. Are you? <laughs> I do it all the so time. Red, yes. <laughs> you and I have history that you probably don't even know about or, or remember. Okay. All right, uh, several years ago at the end of a uh, Nickelback tour, they threw a big party in this place, and you and I actually shared a table and ate lobsters. Oh, and great. Some sort of carved meats or whatever they had going on back here, and an ice sculpture and all kinds of stuff on the last night of a tour. I heard about so, that just now. Yeah. yeah, my yeah, yes, I do remember well, we that. I remember there. the lobster. I Thank swear, you. good to we see you again. We sat there and we did that. It's good seeing you again too. Yeah, see, obviously now it all comes flooding I'm back. I'm sorry, here. I was paying so much attention to this <laughs> lobster at the time. <laughs> They'd be giving us gruel every day. At, Dude, you know, they would generally be in a lobster. tour of gruel. You know, every day is like oatmeal over and over. So well, you get, got a rock star life. It's probably like that for you <laughs> every day. For me, it's like you know, a uh, Pizza Hut. I mean, yeah. it's, come on, man. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, so where are you guys coming in from? Where were you last? Oh, good question. Uh, New York. Oh, really? Okay, awesome. Uh, have you been out on tour long? We keep doing, um, like, weekends and play three, four days, yeah. then go home. Then you go home? Then, and I go much bigger in the summer. Where do you make your home uh, when in you're Los in the Los, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, All right. yeah, yeah. Uh, That's cool. Cool. If you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? If, if you weren't in the music business, is there something else that you secretly... I'd work in the kitchen. Like preparing food, like yeah, like a chef kind yeah. of a thing, really. Be a sous chef, yeah. Oh, that'd be kind of cool, like dude. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you ever actually tried to do it? Well, I try to cook. Well, I don't, yeah. no, I don't mean that. Like, you know what I mean? Like in a but restaurant worked, or someplace? I, yeah, I worked. I used to work in a cafe, but not not much. I never worked in a proper kitchen. But I love that whole sensibility. My lots of my friends are chefs. Oh, and that's I, cool. It reminds me a little bit of the of how we work and the crazy characters we have on right. the road, the techs. The, the the broken minds, the creative minds, sure. and uh, driven and up against it, high pressure jobs. And and that that part of it too that you just hit on there, uh, I mean, at least in that cooking job, is a lot of it is you got to be able to do it fast and do it con- and do it consistently. Well, yeah, exactly. Every every that day. That would be hard. So that's how I feel yeah. like about us and playing that, whatever level we're at, and yeah. that's not for me to say. Sure. It's consistent. <laughs> It's, it is consistent. Oh, no, it's really consistent. It's you consistent. have a great track record and a, so, a well, tremendous that's what I like body about of work. That's what I like about it. Yeah. You, know, you, so, you, yeah. you guys have a tremendous body of work. I was just reading, like, like your first album is, like, six times platinum right. or some ridiculous thing at this point. And that's just the first one? I, I, I just liked it when you said, uh, you have, you know, tremendous body. <laughs> <laughs> you are something special, sir. A delicious are... dessert on the man menu. No question about it. <laughs> All right. Give me one thing off your bucket list. What? You, you have a chance to do a lot of cool stuff because of the, you have a very cool job. Yeah. But there's still got to be something that you're like, oh, man, if I ever get this, I'm jumping out of that airplane or I'm scaling the Grand Canyon or whatever. Yeah, I don't be. believe all that stuff is. Like that? I, all that stuff is like. I, I don't get any of that no. nonsense about jumping out of things or bungee jumping. <laughs> you have to be risky. An, I'd say you have to be an behaviors. idiot to do that. Like, <laughs> life is risky enough, isn't it? <laughs> Just like, getting here. I'm an idiot. I'm jumping out of a plane. Why? You because know. I no, can. No, but I mean, so I would do um, something what would like. Be your thing? Oh. <laughs> well, I, it's kind of like the something, question, really. Something pretty sense. mellow. I mean, I would, yeah. I would, I would sort of, you know, go to. Do you go have to, a hobby? Yeah, I play a lot of tennis. Okay. And um, my hobby would be... Um, Have you ever had a chance to play against, like, a Rafa Nadal or anybody of that caliber so you could really see what it was I like to be in the enough. game? I have really? been, yeah, I have. And, and, I and do. how did you measure up? Uh, I, for a musician, you know, I can hold my own. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've caught musicians holding their own before. Yes, very good. <laughs> Hey, listen, it was great having you. Thank you so much for coming up. Thank you. Thanks Thanks for showing up the luau again, dude. It's great seeing you. All right. Thank you. Thanks.